ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स तो इस वीडियो में हम लोग क्वेश्चन नंबर एट अब सॉल्व करेंगे सो क्वेश्चन नंबर एट में क्या दिया देखा टू पॉइंट चार्जेस क्यू ए थ्री माइक्रोकोलोम एंड क्यू बी माइनस थ्री माइक्रोकोलोम आर लोकेटेड ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर अपार्ट इन वैक्यूम सो नंबर ए व्हाट इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट द मिड पॉइंट ओ ऑफ द लाइन ए बी ज्वाइनिंग द टू चार्जेस इन दोनों चार्ज को ज्वाइन चार्ज को ज्वाइन करने के बाद मिड पॉइंट पर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कितना का वो हम लोग को पता करना है and if the negative test charge is of magnitude 1.5 into 10 to the minus 19 so sorry 10 to the minus 9 coulomb is placed at this point what is the force experienced by the test charge to chalo sabse pehle hum log diagram bana lete hain data yaad kar lete hain 3 micro coulomb minus 3 micro coulomb and 20 cm okay so suppose this is 3 micro coulomb charge and this is minus 3 micro coulomb charge and distance between both the charges is suppose it is given 20 cm from here to here okay okay now this is what your qa this is your qb okay and what is asking in the question so let's go for it so what is the electric field at mid point of line journey ab so this is what electric field ab at mid point here you have to find out electric field this is the mid point electric field so what is the formula for electric field suppose you are writing formula for electric field due to charge a so what you will write 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not And Q A by R square. So what is R? R is the distance from that charge to that point. So if this hole is 20 centimeter, so what is the distance? What is this distance? Obviously 10 centimeter. So here R is what? 10 centimeter. So convert it into SI unit. So 10 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. Okay. And everything everything is given to you. So now calculate E. therefore i can write e a is equal to e a is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not 3 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by 10 into 10 raised to minus 2 the whole square okay so 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not 9 into 10 raised to 9 into 3 Into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by 10 into 10 100 into 10 raised to minus 4. So what I can do here? Uh, this is nothing but 9 into 10 raised to 9 into 3 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by 10 raised 100 nothing but 10 raised to 2 and this 10 raised to minus 2 will become And this two minus two, so this will give you what? This minus two will go up, so it will give you what? Ten raised to yes. So this is nine into ten raised to nine into three, and this ten raised to two will go up, so ten raised to plus two, and this minus six, so ten raised to uh, minus four. Then three into 10 raised to minus 4. So now what you will get? So 9 3 is 27. So 27 into 10 raised to my uh, 10 raised to uh, this is what uh, 9 and 4. This is 10 raised to 5. So I can write it uh, newton. Sorry, so newton per coulomb. Okay. And what is the direction? So suppose this is point A. A and this is B and this is O. So along the OB because this is positive charge, so it will uh, electric field will, will be from positive charge to this side. So along OB we can write here along OB. Similarly, electric field to B. 
so 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught same quantity 3 into 10 raised to minus 6 divided by 10 into 10 raised to minus 2 the whole square see same quantity here look at this quantity and this quantity so I can write here answer is same 27 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per Coulomb but what is direction so electric field B so this is negative charge so direction will be same so it will feel force this side means electric field will be in this direction okay so therefore a uh, what is it? you can write here along OB okay along OB okay now total electric field therefore E net so dono vector same direction you see this is because of positive charge and this is because of negative charge so both are in same direction so you have to you have to add it so e net is equal to e a plus e a so this will give you sorry e b so this will give you what 27 plus 27 and 10 raised to 5 is common so this will give you into 10 raised to 5 so it's what 54 into 10 raised to 5 newton per coulomb this is your total electric field okay now what is next question so next is uh, question is if negative pressure charge of magnitude 1.5 into 10 to minus 9 coulomb is placed at this point what is the force so we have to calculate force if one charge is kept here suppose if i keep one charge here uh, negative press charge uh, minus 1.5 micro coulomb it's micro coulomb let me check so no it's my minus 9 okay no problem it's minus 9 into 10 raised to minus 9 coulomb so what is the force so electric field we have already calculated so we know the formula f is equal to q a so uh, q is given here okay 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 9 and into 54 into 54 e is already calculated 54 into 10 raised to 5 so solve this you will get approximate 8.1 into 10 raised to minus 3 newton and what is the direction so see this is negative test charge okay so this charge will try to attract okay and this negative charge will try to repel so direction will be same means because of both the charges this is the direction so along OA the force will be along OA in diagram or you can write along okay students by using coulomb's law so you can calculate this force f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 the q1 3 into 10 to minus 6 q2 after jo 5.4 sorry uh, this is given here 1.5 into 10 to minus 9 which will be your same answer aega. okay so this was the question okay now we'll go for next question what is next question see here a system has two charges q a 2.5 into 10 to minus 7 coulomb q e 2 minus 2.5 into 10 to means to uh, dono ka magnitude same hai. look at at point a 0 0 minus 15 centimeter and b 0 0 plus 15 centimeter respectively what are the total charge and electric dipole moment okay students yeah, per q a 2.5 into 10 to minus 7 here in negative hai. so obviously they will make dipole and uh, see uh, from this coordinate system here you can see 0 0 minus 15 and 0 0 plus 15 0 means x axis this 0 means y axis and this minus 15 means z axis and this is also 0 0 x y and plus 15 so it means students on z axis charge is kept 
from center minus 15 and plus 15. So means total distance between the charges is 15 plus 15. We will get 30 centimeter. Okay. So now let me make the diagram. Suppose this is x axis. This is y axis and this is z axis this is minus z axis so this is what plus 15 okay means 0 0 plus 15 and here it will be 0 comma 0 comma minus 15 centimeter okay so how much total distance this is 15 and this is 15 means total 30 centimeter okay so now they are asking what is dipole moment so p is equal to q into 2a this is the formula so q is how much q is given 2.5 any one charge remember definition of dipole and it tends to minus 7 into 2a is 30 okay means 0 0.3 0 meter 30 centimeter is what 0 0.3 meter okay so you will get this uh, 0 0.75 0 0.75 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb meter this is what your dipole moment and they are asking what is total charge so students you know charge is a scalar quantity so one charge is 2.5 so i can write here q net is equal to one charge is 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 7 and one is minus 2.5 negative charge you know? So 10 raised to minus 7. So this is really 0, 0 charge, 0 coulomb charge is here. Okay. So basically, this is the answer of this question. Now we'll go for question number next. Question number 10. And this is the last question for this video. So what is given? An electric dipole with dipole moment 4 into 10 raised to minus 9 coulomb meter is aligned at 30 degrees with the direction of uniform electric field of magnitude okay so calculate the magnitude of the torque acting on the dipole so what is the formula for torque so students first we will write data 4 into 10 to minus charge is this much and 30 degree okay so what is given q is equal to and theta is equal to given and dipole moment is given and electric field electric field is also given so you have to calculate torque so let me write data first so charge is given how much uh, here is the charge 4 into 10 to minus 19 sorry dipole moment is given 4 into 10 to minus 9 coulomb meter so this is what p p 4 into 10 10 raised to minus 9 coulomb meter and theta is 30 degree so p already we have written here no need to write charge because charge can be and uh, the electric field 5 into 10 to 4 so E is equal to how much? 5 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per coulomb and torque you have to calculate. So you know the formula T is equal to P cross E is equal to P E sin theta. What is theta? Theta is the angle between dipole moment and electric field. So now P is given 4 into 10 raised to minus 9 into E is also given 5 into 10 raised to 4 into sin 30 so sin 30 is how much you write the sign find the value of sin 30 and when you will solve it this will give you what students very easy numerical okay you will get 10 raised to minus 4 approximate newton meter this is for you have to solve this very easy okay thank you so much for watching this video and in next video we will do question number 11